The Intrepid Museum matters because the museum's education programs engage kids with history and science in ways that support and enhance the classroom experience. I was six years old when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walked on the moon, and they were, they were my heroes. You know, I dressed up like Buzz Aldrin as a little kid. What was really cool with the Intrepid was a lot of people got to meet Buzz on the anniversary, the 45th anniversary of the moon landing, and uh, we got to do a little panel together. The only guy left who walked on the moon that day was Buzz, and where was he on the 45th anniversary? He was right here. To hear a guy like Buzz Aldrin and then get to meet him, I think that's the type of experience that stays with someone their whole life. It stayed with me watching him on the moon. I think the, the kids, the people, the parents that were here that day will never forget that experience. I even brought my students here. I, I'm an engineering professor at Columbia, and we learned about the space program and about aircraft and aircraft systems and space systems, but we did our field trip here. And I, everyone showed up that day because they wanted to get that hands-on experience. So whether you're an elementary school student, high school student, grad student, this is a place that they can come and supplement their education, and it, it serves a great purpose. For the kids that come here, they can see a Buzz Aldrin, they can see hands-on uh, the different displays here, the artifacts, the aircraft, the spaceships that are here, and they can dream about what they want to become. And it doesn't matter that you're from New York, and it may not be a lot of astronauts living down the block or a lot of scientists around the corner from where you live in Brooklyn or where I grew up on Long Island. There wasn't a lot of that going on, but I could come to a place like a museum, like the Intrepid Museum, and dream. And that's why the Intrepid Museum matters.